What if I told you the ocean wasn't always ruled by whales, sharks, and octopuses? What if beneath the waves millions of years ago, there lurked creatures so bizarre, so terrifying, that today's predators looks tame by comparison? Today, we're diving into the ancient seas to uncover the wildest deep sea creatures that you have never heard of. So buckle up because what you're about to see might just make you think twice about going for a swim. Imagine a creature that looks like it's straight out of a fever dream. A tiny predator that ruled the oceans half a billion years ago. Meet the Opibina. Oh my god, I can't pronounce some of these words. One of the weirdest creatures to ever exist. It's got five eyes, yeah? five eyes, but wait, it gets wilder. This guy has what can only be described as a trunk sticking out of its face with a claw in the end. I mean, like this is like the early game in like the ocean, but still like this is a fascinating build. Opabina was only three inches long, but don't let that size fool you because with its eyes, it gives it a 360 degree vision and with its claw tip trunk, it was the ultimate predator of its time. Picture it, it's snatching up tiny sea creatures and dragging them straight into its mouth, hidden beneath its body. But here's the thing, Opabina wasn't just a weird looking creature. It was part of a major evolutionary event, a turning point when life on Earth was experimenting with all kinds of bizarre designs. And while it may look like an alien from your worst nightmares, it shows just how far nature will go to create the perfect predator. Now, you think modern sharks are scary? Let me introduce you to the Helicoprion, a prehistoric shark that didn't just have regular rows of teeth. Oh no, it had a whirl of teeth, like a circular saw inside its lower jaw. Yeah, you heard that right. A shark with a buzz saw for a jaw. The thing is, they lived around 290 million years ago. And with a set of razor sharp teeth that spun in a spiral, it would slice through prey like squid and other soft body creatures with terrifying precision. The helicopter Caprion wasn't the biggest shark in the ocean, around 20 feet long, but that buzzsaw made it one of the most deadly. And for decades, scientists didn't even know what to make about the helicoprion. Where would the tooth whirl would fit, the upper jaw, lower jaw? Was it a decoration or was it actually meant for hunting? Well, after years of debate, we now know that it's actually part of the lower jaw, slicing up prey like a prehistoric blender. You've seen sharks with teeth, but the helicoprion takes it to another level. And just imagine if you saw one of these spinning tooth predators swimming towards you. You know what? Just blow up the ocean at that point. Sorry to pause the video here, but if you liked the video so far, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And it supports the channel in so many ways. Anyways, I'll continue the video here. If you thought modern sperm whales was just deep diving squid hunters, think again, because the livid is a little god. What is that name? A giant sperm whale from 10 million years ago didn't just hunt squid. Nope, it hunted other whales. Imagine a creature that didn't grow up to 57 feet long with conical teeth the size of your forearm. Leviton, oh my, I think that's how you pronounce it. Leviton's jaw was made to rip large prey, making it the apex predator of the Miocene seas. Think of an orca with steroid, but way bigger and more terrifying because it's a sperm whale for God's sake. But what makes Leviton even more terrifying is its shared oceans with the Megalodon. Yes, they both lived at the same time and they could have been possibly hunting the same prey. Maybe that's why they both went extinct, those two dumb brutes. And while we can only speculate, can you imagine a showdown between a whale the size of a semi truck and a shark the size of a bus? Though Leviton, Levit, Le, Leviathan, okay, for God's sake. Though Leviathan is long gone, its fossil tells a tale of a sea where giants may have fought for supremacy. Modern sperm whales may seem tame in comparison to these prehistoric monsters, but Leviathan proves that once upon a time, the ocean was home to creatures that made even today's predators look small. From the five-eyed Opafinia to the buzzsaw jaw of Helicoprion and the whale-hunting Leviathan, the ancient oceans were filled with creatures more terrifying than anything we've seen today. These prehistoric monsters may be gone, but their fossils remind us of how wild and unpredictable life on Earth can be. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, like, and comment about any creatures that you want to talk about. See you in a bit. Peace.